everyone, welcome back to Exult Tech. It's been a little bit, um, but I've got the Toshiba laptop back here. I know it's been about a month since I made a video on it, um, but I read your comments, and here on this USB drive, I have Antix Linux, one of the most lightweight Linux distros that you can download, as many of you have suggested. Uh, but first of all, some updates. Um, this laptop has been falling apart a lot on me. Um, first of all, the hinges broke entirely the plastic completely just disintegrated so the hin the metal hinges are not even holding on to anything so if i open it here yeah it seems to open um but you can see that the corners are popping up this this isn't supposed to be happening this is totally normal uh and second of all um Every single time I open it up, pieces of plastic fall out of it. It's, it's in good condition. Um, might destroy this. It's been fun to mess around with this, but it's actually just falling apart. I might just destroy this for a video on my second channel for fun. It's called Extra or Extra. You should probably check it out. Anyway, here I've got the SanDisk uh, SSD that I've been abusing for the past year ever since I bought it in a 2010 MacBook. So let's just stick it in. Yeah, I don't have the cover on this, because I genuinely just don't care about this laptop anymore. Turn it on. See? It still works. Our battery is low. Yeah, because I took out the battery in it. Um, let's just say that's the current time. Boot from the USB, please. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's doing anything. No no bootable device. What do you mean? I'll I'll figure out how to do this. Yep. All right, I'm back. Um I think the issue that happened with me before was that I had used a Bellina etcher to make the USB. I rechecked the Antix website and they said either use their own tool or use Rufus on Windows. Um I tried using their tool but I couldn't get it to work on Arch because uh it needed like root permission in order to run with the app image which uh every tutorial I looked at says not to run app images as sudo. Uh so I don't know and I don't really care to figure it out. Um, so I just booted into Windows, I got Rufus, and now we're going to do attempt 2 on the USB. It's probably going to give me, it's going to keep giving me that battery warning probably. Alright, boot into the disk. There we go! Now we got it! Alright, not sure where to go from here, I think I have to, uh... I think, use modern kernel... Okay. Oh. Uh. Uh. What did I do? What did I do? Okay, I just decided to use legacy kernel. Because I don't know what this does. Um. Um. I hope it's installing? What is it doing exactly? Cool. It, it has a new font. Yay. It. What is happening? <laughs> you can tell I'm not that experienced of a Linux user if I have no idea what the hell's going on. Hello? Oh, okay. So we're in the live environment now. I believe. It's using a hundred percent CPU. Awesome. There we go, okay. I don't know what it's showing me here. Why, I don't know why this is open here. Um, so I, I guess I'll just go straight to the, oh, okay. Hi. Why did it open three of you? So I won't launch because it's already running in the background. It's already running in the background. It's running there. I'm going to close that because I don't know what that is. Um... What desktop environment is this? It looks familiar. It... Alright. Independent Linux distribution based on Debian stable. Uses from components from whatever. Enjoy using. Yes, I like to enjoy. 
Uh, let's use the entire disc because I don't care. This disc is just my dummy disc. Format and use entire disc. Yep. All right. Uh, computer network names. Sure. Uh, American English Eastern. Let's do that. That's the format. Still has the wrong time. Oh, it's probably the wrong time because I don't have the freaking clock battery in. Shiba for it to Shiba. No password needed. Is it not gonna let me set the date and time? <laughs> um. I'd like to set the date and time, please. How do I? Can I just do that in the settings here? What the hell is the settings menu? Um, I'm very lost right now. I don't know what I'm looking at. Control centre? I know, that's just the British thing. Um. Um. System set date and time. Here we go. I I don't have a password, so. What do you mean incorrect password? I don't. There's no password. I can't even change the stupid password? I can't even change the stupid time? Okay, buddy. Whatever. You're still using 60% of the CPU. Okay, I'm gonna come back once this is done installing. Alright, we're back. Installation's complete. It actually really did not take that much time um, to do it. Probably took about a few minutes. One of the fastest... Oh, hey, you can see me. But it's one of the fastest operating system installations I've ever seen, really. Um, not sure if how much of that has to do just how lightweight it is or just that it's as yeah you know what it's because it's very lightweight um all right yes let's boot into antics all right it's gonna be awesome let's check it out all right um this is the ugliest lock screen i've ever seen but i guess that's not really what you're going for um i don't know what the name of the thing that i said I don't remember the name of the thing that I said. All oh, right, it was Shiba, without a password. Um, we're in. Uh, now it thinks it's July fourth. Okay, that stupid thing keeps popping up. I have no idea why. Let's see if I can change the time now. Move the slider to the correct hour? What? Is this what happens when you're like using the most lightweightness? Okay, it is 409. You can't just sync. Use internet time. Okay, yes, please. I don't have internet connection, I don't think. Um, how do I connect to the internet? I can't connect to Wi-Fi. Oh, that's how you connect to Wi-Fi. Uh, wireless connect. This is very interesting. Are we connected now? All right, we are connected to Wi-Fi now. All right. Let's go back into system and let's properly set the date and time. Not doing anything. There we go. Now the time is correct. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, this is very non-traditional. I'm very much not used to what's going on here. So um, let's inst. I don't think this comes with a web browser. So let's just open up the terminal. Oh shit! I'm running out of SD card space. Hey everyone, it's me from the editing stage here. Um, it wasn't until now that I realized that I actually lost a bunch of the footage after that last thing that you just saw after I ran out of SD card space. Um, I guess the videos I recorded just didn't save. 
it's just very weird um because i didn't see anything else besides the clips that i imported so i somehow lost my last clip so let me just summarize what happened um i ran i tried running youtube uh it was really slow um and then I uh, I installed NeoFetch, make it look a bit cool. Um, and then I installed Geekbench and I ran Geekbench 6. Um, and, it, and it didn't look very well. Um, from the last video, uh, comparing the Geekbench results, uh, what, well, on Linux Mint, the laptop scored a 102 on single core and a 182 on multi core. And on Antics, it only scored a little bit higher. That's a negligible amount, and it scored, um, I believe it was 107 single core and 190 multi core. So, um, basically, the conclusion of this video is no matter what operating system that computer is running, it is an absolute piece of crap. And then I didn't even test any games on it because it wasn't even worth uh, testing. Um, so, yeah, that's all I really have to say about it. Um, this is, I guess, the end of the trilogy of Toshiba videos. Um, if I just, if I do end up destroying this Toshiba, there will be a fourth video technically about it, which will be on my second channel, Xfold Extras. So if you're interested in seeing that, and I do end up making the video, it will be over there. And that's really all I have to say. And I'm not gonna, and I, by the way, I don't blame Antics for this. Um, I blame, I entirely blame the laptop here for being an absolute piece of crap. So, uh, yeah, that's all I really have to say. Um, thank you for watching this series, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.